What's up guys, it's Curtis from Merch Titans and in today's video I want to show you how you can automate your uploads to Redbubble uh, using the Merch Titans automation software. Uh, so it's very easy, we try to simplify this as much as we can um, and if you watched the previous video where I showed Printful uploading products to Etsy, Amazon, and Shopify, you'll uh, start to understand how the software works. So all the data comes from a very simple CSV spreadsheet as you can see here, we have the image path, the title, description, tags, and the primary tag for TeePublic if we were to upload to TeePublic. But today we're only focused on Redbubble. But let's say you had uh, 40, 40 or so designs, you could come in here and put in all the data, uh, save the spreadsheet, and then start the software and walk off while it uploads all your designs to all the products and adjust everything perfectly. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and show you how that works. So I already have that basic CSV spreadsheet set up which is filler data for testing. Um, over here I have Redbubble enabled and the other one's disabled because I only want to focus on Redbubble. And as you can see here we added in a speed option so you can now determine the speed of uploading. You could either do slow which will be slower than a human, medium is slightly faster than a human, and fast is uh, quite fast. So we'll stick to medium today uh, and then all we got to do is go and set the Redbubble settings up here. So you click on Redbubble these uh, are basically telling the uh, software which rows or which columns inside of your CSV spreadsheet correspond to the title, description, and the tags. And this is telling the uh, software which row to start on inside the CSV spreadsheet, which is useful in case, let's say, you uploaded 10 designs and you close the uh, program and you wanted to start on that row without editing the CSV spreadsheet. You can come in here and basically select this or put this at 10, click start, and you're good to go. Anyway, with that being said, uh, you can check or uncheck all the Redbubble products here. So just to show you how this works, I'm going to disable a few. Let's disable leggings, mini skirt, A-line dress, graphic t-shirt, dress. And then uh, down here, I'm going to leave the color as white. The hexadecimal, if you know Redbubble, most of the products are based on a hexadecimal code. Um, and I'm going to go white here. And you can always Google a code for a color. And another idea I had is maybe putting in a color dropper that you can select and choose your color and it'll put the code in for you right inside the uh, software. And then this here is to move the image upward which is really convenient for clothing because most uh, designs you would prefer to be aligned towards the top of t-shirts. So I'm going to say about 30 and you can experiment with the coordinates here. That way and it's moving upward not downward because my uh, designs as you can see here are actually more towards the middle. These first ones are. So it'll only be relevant for these first two, but I'm only using this for uh, testing purposes. So let's go 25 here. And then the repeat design pattern grid is what you want to leave by default, or you have vertical offset, and then the products in which above repeat design is to be enabled. So let's say you wanted to repeat the design pattern on uh, hardcover journals or spiral notebooks, we could do that. But the design's quite large for this testing video, so that won't look too good, but I'll leave it there so you can see what it is. Anyway, I think all of my settings are set up. I'm just going to double check. Everything's good to go. So now that I'm ready, I have my CSV spreadsheet selected. Let's say you adjust your settings and you set them up and you want to save them so next time you can just load them really quickly. You can come into this load save settings area, go to save settings and then save it. Uh, and then next time you can just go load settings and pull, uh, pull up one of these settings and then click load and you're good to go. Anyway, with that being said, Red, Red Bubble's enabled, the CSV spreadsheet selected, I'm good to go. So I'm going to start the software. It'll take a few seconds. Ask you for your license key, click OK. And then it'll open up Chromium. And you'll need to read, or log into your account. So I'll go ahead and log into my test account. And once it logs in, the, so the automation just takes over. So now, right now, this is all going and happening on its own. It's grabbing the file path from that CSV spreadsheet of the image. So it basically tells the software which image to upload. As you can see, that's happening. And then it'll fly through all the settings quite quickly and adjust everything for you. It'll resize the image and make everything look good. So you can see here, it's moving the design up. That's the coordinates I put into the uh, settings here. If I go back, 
right here so you can experiment with that and find the right one for your designs so it's flying through everything setting the colors adjusting the sizing making sure everything looks good um, and as you can see here the titles put in the descriptions put in and the tags if I th go through here you can see it's repeated here like I put in the settings but uh, everything looks quite good and then it'll submit that shortly and then it'll loop through the spreadsheet and go to the second row and once the second row is done it'll loop through and go through the third row and it'll do that until it's finished or your max uploads are hit. So I'll just let you uh, watch this for a minute. So that product was submitted. Now it's moving on to the second one. And the great thing about this is you can set it up, click start, and go to work. Even if you're using the same computer, you can still go to work. You can minimize this window and it'll upload in the background uh, as you work. So all this is happening on complete autopilot. And it's great because you can sit here and watch it too, if you prefer. Just like that, we're on the second design. Everything's uploaded and adjusted. Everything looks good. And then it'll submit that one and move on to the third design. And again, this is just filler information just for demonstrating in this video. But yeah, it'll go through the entire spreadsheet and finish every upload and then it'll automatically close Chromium. Uh, and then over here inside the app, you can actually come to the Merch Titans tab and go to Upload Status and you can see the status here. It's so one out of six uploaded. So when this one finishes, it's almost done. Um, you'll see in here that it updates. There we go, two out of six, and then it's on to the third one. About to start with that. Anyway, so that is how this automation software works. We've been putting a lot of work into it, and right now the software is in closed beta. But you're more than welcome to join and test the software for free before we launch it. Uh, I'll post a link to our private Facebook group in the comments below or in the description below. So if you're interested in testing this software and would like to automate your uploads to Redbubble or Spreadshirt, TeePublic, Zazzle, or even Printful and all the options that Printful has, that's what we offer right now. And just real quick, I'll point out that you can enable every one of these platforms, start the uh, software and run them all at the same time, automating every one of them simultaneously. So it's super powerful. Um, and there's a lot you can do with it. There's a lot of flexibility. And we're just starting to get to the tip of the iceberg. Because there's a lot of features that we're going to be implementing over time. But right now we're just building that foundation. Um, and we're looking forward to your feedback. So if you guys want to come in here and test this out, you can find that Facebook group in the description below. We're looking forward to hearing back from you. If you have any ideas or feedback or suggestions, we are all ears and we're looking forward to hearing it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.